Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true... Oh, hold on. I thought I was going to burp. Mm, excuse me, sorry, I can feel it here. Oh, come on, Crosswatcher, let me talk. Sagittarius, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. Um, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Sorry, I was blanking out and then all of a sudden I feel like I'm going to sneeze. What's the energy? What's going on? Oh! Let's see. Sagittarius. Okay. So, opening Oracle messages first, okay? All right. Okay. Okay, so the first oracles we have in reversed, I'm putting myself first right now. So they're not, they're shitting on themselves actually, which is not good. So right away, anyone who shits on themselves, they're going to start shitting on other people. You don't take care, feed yourself, you, you, you don't even drink some water, fill your cup, you're done. Anyone else around is going to like get sucked. You know what I mean? So I'm putting myself first right now, but it's in reverse. So they're not um, Sagittarius, okay? But top of the deck here, we have upright. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. So either they're messing with you and your emotions or um, maybe they really do think about you constantly here and they're because it makes sense why they wouldn't be putting themselves first and taking care of themselves. The next one up right here is the energy between us felt, felt amazing. Okay, but top of the deck in reverse, I don't know what I want. They do know what they want. They do. Okay. And then sideways here we have, I want to break this no contact. But do they really? Probably not because it's sideways. And then sideways as well. I really fumbled you and now I'm paying the price. Uh, it's a half, that's a half truth. <laughs> they, they know that. <laughs> okay. And then um, upright top of the deck. I became numb because I refused to take accountability for my behavior. There it is, Saggy. There it is, okay? There it is. Now let's see here with the tarot. Okay, so it's how they're spending their money, their time, their energy, and their efforts. It's in the wrong way, the wrong energy, space, and waste, and all of it. But they're still choosing to be this way with you for some reason. Because they know that, at 333, they're guarded from you now. The fence have completely just walls up. But then after that, they don't want to emotionally like commit to you. But they don't want to walk away from you and leave you either. And then after that, it's like, are they just, that's it? They're single, they're happy, they're independent, or are they just happy to keep working with you or trying to make things work with you? I'm not sure here, okay? So I'm gonna clarify here and see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> Top of the deck, juggle, 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 trouble, trouble. Juggle the Sagittarius, all for fucking what, cross watcher? You've heard this, you already know what I'm gonna say. This is the one that you're dealing with that has like some sort of like image or spotlight or whatever and you guys are living together or hanging out or your friends or you collab or whatever. So once again, why are they using you? It's for the sake of their own success and public recognition and image. They, the funny thing is they know that's going down the shitter too and it has nothing to do with you. So don't be blaming Sagittarius again here, cross watcher. Because it's like they got lazy and decided to just not do shit anymore. But somehow they use you for the sake of their success and recognition, knowing they're not, like, are they making money off of it even? Like, what is going on there? It's such a mess. Something that's successful, like, they get it out of you through you, but they don't have to do anything about it, and they don't want to do anything about it to make it work and make things better either. Ah! 
That's what I thought. Ah, they're funny trying to project all these cards. It's like, I know how to read. Like, what are you doing, Crosswatcher? You, and you, Crosswatcher, you know. Crosswatcher, what are you doing? So they're not going to move forward on this journey. They're going to stay stuck here with you. They're not going to release any baggage. They're not going to, like, do anything to try to help themselves and save themselves in the situation here. Okay, Sagittarius here. They're going, all the baggage, all the problems that you're aware about, just that you alone are aware about and what you're not aware about, they're going to keep bringing it with you, towards you. And it looks like it's making them want to, one, know they need to be on their own, single, independent, and get their own shit together and get away from you. Or they're just going to keep trying to use you and be greedy when they already have it all. That is what's making them guarded towards you and defensive towards you. So there's your answer. Okay, let's see what else. Mm, there it is. They know, ooh, they're so much festering. They're so bothered. They need to be done. They need to say something. They need to talk, speak, and they're not. Um, for some of you that they may have, but it's like they know something needs to be, they need to be done with you. Break up, walk away, whatever it is. They're not going to because they're using you for the money, the success, the collaboration, the partnership, everything that you can think of Sagittarius, okay? So whatever's going on here, it's like, are they going to purposely stay out of a job to milk you? Or are they just going to kind of just half-ass with what they got just to kind of like keep you strung, strung along? And so that's what it is. It's something about that, that they know they could do more for themselves. They know they're, all, they're good at what they do or like what they can create, their own talents, hobbies, and tasks and tools to be more financially independent right and have things work out for the both of you and for themselves and they don't want to do any of it because they know that somehow they can milk you and use you and that's why they don't want to emotionally walk away from you they're emotionally connected to the money not you thank you and with the fucking um honk of the horn and i'm gonna write that down for your title thank you spirit <laughs> That's horrible. Exactly. You're fucked and you know it. <laughs> so now they're like, oh shit. Uh, there's, it's hostile. Now the environment's hostile. Now there's shit going on, isn't there? Okay, because now they're getting super defensive and irritated because they know they are in the wrong Sagittarius, okay? And so all of a sudden they're like, well, fuck it. Then I will be single. Then I will work on myself. Then I will go just focus on my job. Yeah, go do that. <laughs> let's see here do they even want to show themselves wow they oh my god so they know energy games they know how to project cards and it's funny how they always want to shit talk you that you don't do shit for their nine of pentacles card i love how the nine of pentacles came out for them twice and fucking reversed so there's that cross watcher quit playing your stupid fucking games grow up be a man say something to sagittarius like wow no, no energy. They're too scared. They don't want to show shit. But you know who it is. All right. Bye.